Hello everyone, welcome back, it's Chuck Thunder, and we keep on trying on these Let's Play series situations because we keep on having crashes and or failures of playing the game. We are going to give this a new shot on a hometown map, and this is going to be the hometown series, well, home state series. Welcome to New Jersey. New Jersey, Vineland, New Jersey, South Jersey from where I live currently. I live in about central New Jersey, and this is just south of us in the Pinelands, hence you see pine trees. And around here, the sand is uh, very prevalent, which is why pine trees are very, very common out in New Jersey, um, out in the south uh, areas of New Jersey, and we grow very acidic crops. So the crops here are not uh, particularly... Um, uh, placed here for to be specific for New Jersey but we are going to try our best to stick to what could be be grown in New Jersey um, right now I uh, have already begun my series here by purchasing myself a machine to harvest the fields that we already purchased I bought myself a small tractor and a small um, uh, trailer to quickly harvest the fields that were already given to me when I purchased them so really we wanted to start off where we spent all of our money essentially on getting um, the bare necessities, which literally the bare necessities are to harvest the field, cultivate, the, uh, harvest the field, and um, sell the field. And that's all we're going to do right now. And then we're going to use that money to purchase um, our equipment to seed the fields. So in New Jersey, there's some of the most common crops you might see would be some corn fields, soybean fields cranberries which isn't in the game unfortunately blueberries um uh, and on occasion you will see sunflower fields um hence the sunflower fields here um and that's pretty much all of new jersey's harvesting uh, the main portions of the harvesting you'll see in new jersey cranberry bogs unfortunately are not something that's in this game which i think would be a great addition it's an interesting way of harvesting. You need a whole new, whole new way of doing it. If you guys don't know anything about cranberry bogs, they're calling them cranberry bogs because what you do is you have a field kind of like filled in like a bowl. Like it's kind of like a, a large flat bowl, like a cooking tray. <laughs> they build up like dirt around the entire field. And then while they grow these cranberries on these low-lying bushes they flood the field with water and it causes the cranberries to break free from their stems and float to the surface and then they skim them off the top um, so uh, if you've ever seen the ocean spray commercials that's literally how it's done but I don't know how they would ever do that in this game so not my solution to figure out but it'd be really cool if they did do something like that a little tight of a space here to get my harvester header here can I get it? There we are. Okay, so we got the harvester header. So we have right now on our current fields a field of corn and a field of sorghum. So we're going to harvest those two fields, sell them off immediately, take those profits, buy the rest of our equipment. We need to get ourselves a seeder so that we could seed um, fields of soybeans because that's one of the things I want to do. Um, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't mind if it continues in, continuously planting corn, but we need a second um, field for that right now, so, or second um, seeder, like a planter for that, so we're probably going to pass on that. And then another major output in New Jersey, um, in some places, is straw. I see, it's not a huge output, but I see people who do do straw in New Jersey on a regular basis, um, because uh, there is some livestock sales out here in New Jersey, but not much. So do some people do harvest straw for their own uh, livestock, specifically horses. Horses are a huge thing in New Jersey. There's a racetrack in New Jersey that the circuit of a horse racetracks uh, in the United States tend to go to. So the same horses that you'll see racing at the Kentucky Derby do race at Monmouth Racetrack in New Jersey. Excuse me, I'm having my morning coffee. So we are just going to get back. Um, we are going to harvest the sorghum field, which is ready. As you can see, I've already knocked over a couple of mailboxes along the way. Uh, but yeah, we are going to go do that, and I'll show you guys my farm. Oh, I'll be right back.
All right, sorry about that. And air conditioner kicked on, did not need that. So there are a few mods that, so I had a serious crash of the game that I had to like delete all the mods and reinstall. So there are missing a few things as I'm now realizing that I might step out uh, and re-download as we go. But um, right now we have the basics that I need. I didn't really want this harvester to start, but I needed something that I can put a corn header on and it was the cheapest option. Now that I own it, I feel like there's no point in not keeping it because of the versatility to do both now that I have the corn header and the um, regular uh, uh, farming header here for other f uh, crops. So we're going to keep them. We're going to keep these uh, attachments and keep this machine. It is a good starting machine for the kinds of fields that we're working on. We may step it up at some point, but we buying the properties that we did buy too left us with very little money, so I had to buy the cheapest tractor I could buy and a I wanted to buy the cheapest uh, trailer that I could buy that has multiple functions so it's gonna hold 4,000 liters my my um, trailer and then has the ability to become a bale trailer so that we can do auto loading of bales and pallets now it's gonna be my basic trailer for all intents and purposes right now but that's about all oh then there's our first field as you can see it's already golden welcome to my farm I will uh, drive right out to there and get that started so here's my small corn field that we have um, we may sell the header off if we don't want to keep doing corn at the moment we might just stick with soybean consistently but right now we need to get this sorghum field started because we need to do this now and so also um, this is a relatively rectangular field I thought maybe it would be fine to just use my regular um, uh, higher here but before we do that let's make sure everything is good because I do have course play installed and I don't want my course play prices to be way too expensive um, so let's see here course play percentages well, of percentage as a percentage of normal wage no we want it to be the same so that's kind of the problem so and also since this is a rectangular field I don't know that I need to do headlands it doesn't really make much sense to we'll start with the field by doing a traditional um, hired worker to do this really no reason to uh... there we go all right well I'm gonna let that start and I'll show you the tour of my field while we're at it so here's my cornfield here is my home we a standard basic home we're gonna upgrade it as we go I have a little repair station here. I, I built it on the location that is the original drop location of this map, Vineland, New Jersey. Here's my repair station. Here's a small little barn, which I hate when the trees clip in, but here we are, small little barn. A little area to park off to the side. Here's more character creation stuff. I wish I can get rid of those. If there's a way to get rid of them and anyone knows how, please leave a message in below in the comments. Also, be sure to like and subscribe. And I have a really cheap silo to start. Um, this will be my all-purpose silo. It handles pretty much everything. Um, everything up to grass and straw as well, which is really great. So we have this field starting to get harvested. Now we also have this field over here. There's nothing going on with this field at the moment. Um, this is why I need to get a cedar going immediately, which unfortunately there isn't any cedars that I can afford. I mean, the cheapest one is 33000 so we're going to have to stop it at the mod hub, I believe. Um, unless we can get ourselves a really cheap planter and we can do something else, but no, the cheapest planter is 15000 What about grassland care? Cheapest grassland instead of cedar, really. I don't know exactly how that works. Yeah, we really don't have a option, so we're going to step into the, um, the mod hub for a moment and we'll be right back with potentially what we're going to get with our first purchase actually you know, we're not you know honestly we're going to collect off the field here and we're going to see where we finish off because not that I don't like cheap mods don't get me wrong I do and I want to go back and I want to look at them but I want to see how much money I get off this field first um yeah you know what no we're going to do it preemptively we're going to do it because we we have we have the time. So we're going to step out for a moment and we will see what the mod has to offer. 
All right, everybody, we're back. We just came back from the Mod Hub, and let's go ahead and show you some of the things that we uh, now have in the Mod Hub. Now, um, let's see here. Store, where are you? Why can't I seem to find you? Here we are. Um, and here's the downloaded mods. So here's all the mods that we have downloaded at the moment. Um, we picked up a handful of things here on the cheaper side. Look, we have a really nice cheap planter now. This thing is going to be great. Um, if we want to continue with corn and, and now that looking at that that may be where we go because it's such a small amount and it requires only 20 horsepower to use it'll take a long time for us to plant the field but it would be very useful to do so with this really early on um another thing we might look into um where is it here is a way to use um manure on our field for relatively cheaply um, here's a cheap cedar for 7,000. I actually got another cheap cedar. It's another popular one. This might be better. Um, uh, we also got a cheap sprayer. A bunch of things that we could use early game. Here's a cheap baler. Uh, a cheap bale loader. I don't know that it's auto load or not. Yep, it is. Nice cheap baler. Uh, auto load baler. A cheap mower. A cheap move slurry spreader. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we got a lot of cheap things here. Um, and this this is the harvester I would have gone with if we were sticking with... Uh, oh, look at that. It says it does corn. I guess it does everything. Why did I not get this? It just doesn't look like it would do corn. It does corn. Whatever. It, it's a little cheaty then now that I think about it, but it's okay. We have what we need to do both. And the field is being harvested at the moment, um, and it's coming along nicely. We are just about, just a little up about 50%, so let's get this ready to go. So we can get that filled up. Because this tractor that I bought has only got like 40 horsepower. Like, we are not, we are not going to be able to, where is it? We are not going to be able to do much with something that only has 38 horsepower. So we got to be very mindful of the kind of equipment that we buy which is why I suggested something like this would be great um, it's only got 39 horsepower this one requires 60 horsepower so we really can't do a cedar right now the cheapest cedar we have oh this one would work but it may still be too heavy for this thing to tow so that's why we might go with the planter to start but we have to see if we're going to get enough money off of this sorghum field which I don't think that we will be able to um, we can buy a better tractor. This will be like our all-purpose, you know, around the farm tractor. But that's pretty much it. Um, because I don't see this tractor being super useful to us, you know, in the long run. But early game, this is the setup we have. It seems kind of weird that we have this pretty decent looking harvester and yet we have a little crappy little tractor and a crappy little trailer but we have a crappy little farm and we got to start somewhere and we put all our money into our first harvester so that's where we're going to start and we're going to see where we come off with this obviously we have no way of getting any straw or hay off this field um we may invest in a mower so we can cut the fields that we do own around here maybe our yard and make a bale of silage or two just for extra um well, we can't make bales of silage actually because we're going to need to wrap it but we may be able to um create the grass bales um or collect it somehow uh into a wagon of some kind we gotta well, that's something to the line we'll see if we got the money but right now we are at that stage of where this is filling up how much does that hold Four thousand dollars, so we can take most of what it's in, what's in it. We can literally leave it with a few hundred um, pieces of grain in there, but we can go ahead and get this filled and sell it off. Now let's take a look at our selling prices. We we have sorghum right now. It is going for three eighty at the grain sell point in north, or go to the grain mill plus at three ninety four. And we are in what month right now? September. So we are near the bottom of this, but we, we need to make a little bit of money. So we're going to take the first 4,000. We are going to go get what we can out of this 
right now because we'd like to purchase a few uh, things while we can. I don't even know where this is actually, so we gotta find out where that is first. Green Mill North, right? Is that what we said? Green Mill Plus. So where is that? Vehicle shop. Green Mill. There's the Green Cell North. We're close to that. Taylor Shop. There's the har Oil Mill. Farmer's Market. Spinnery. Sawmill. Biomass. Heating Plant. Sawmill. Pizzeria. Supermarket. Carpenter. Supermarket again. Dairy. Great processing. Yeah, because there's wine is another big thing down in South Jersey. Grain Cell Point South. Sugar Mill. Grain Mill Plus. Okay, straight back by the... Um, the vehicle shop so oh that's where the gas station is too good to know all right so that's where we're gonna head we have to shift this thing ourselves because <laughs> it does move rather slowly but we do need to get this sold so we have a little bit of profit because while we're down there if we can I don't think we'll be able to hitch anything up to this, will we? Well, there is a bit of a hitch on there, so depending on what we get, we may be able to pick up the planter that I was thinking about getting. But we gotta go sell this. So we'll sell this off, we'll come right back, and uh, we'll think about what we wanna purchase. Be right back. All right, we're back. We bit the bullet in buying a planter um, the cheap one we were showing earlier and some seeds which we will just leave down here um, actually no we will have we'll pick them up we'll take them back with us we want some seeds because we don't have a way to store seeds at the at the show we do we store but we don't have like a silo to store seeds in so we just need to get the big bag and and put it in our uh, trailer here um, so that's what we're just gonna do here is we're gonna pick it up I'm afraid of what it's going to do once I put it in here, so we, that's why I'm thinking we maybe don't um, put it in this trailer right now while it's in this stage. But I'm wondering if there's a way for me to pick up, and there isn't. So we'll just say the guy loaded this up for us. So Thank you. We'll bring this back. Actually, we need to fill you up first, so let's go ahead and do this. happened here but you decided to stop because the field is not done get you back on that field doing the job let's fill you up close you off put you down fill you back up here Hopefully we don't have to do a major fill up or anything like that. With coming back here again with the, the planter. But we have what we need here. Let's get back to the shop here. Get this thing loaded up with another load of um, sorghum because we need the money. As you see here, we spent the money as we could here. We can at least now get corn growing. And we have a corn header, so that is good. Now, I don't know that I could plant corn right now. Didn't get that far. Well, let's take a look. Come on, tractor. You can do this. Man, this tractor is weak. Yeah, you got this. Upshift. There we go. So we'll get it down there. We'll get it loaded up and we'll 
continue to harvest off this field. We'll check back in with you guys when I'm ready to plant the next field, if I can. Actually, you know what? Before we do, we're gonna we're gonna find out if we can plant this time of year. We can plant sunflowers. That's fine. We can harvest that with the same heart header. We can't do corn right now. Oh, we can harvest sunflowers right now. The only thing we can plant is wheat and barley, but that's okay. We don't need to plant anything right this minute. We can uh, plant canola. No, we can't. That's fine. It's not the end of the world because what we're, we're we just needed something so that when the season came for planting, that we could, and we will plant sunflower, corn, um, and anything else that the planter can do here. It's a two-row planter, so it's going to take a while. Whoa, what's going on? It does not like the view that I am taking. Whoa. Whatever. Sheesh. What is it doing? Um, anyways. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we, we have what we need here to do at least the planting of a field. Um, I'd like to do mowing, but I don't think we can get there. We just definitely need to get over there so we can start collecting more and more of this. Um... Sorghum that's off the field and get it sold because we need the money to pay our worker. Also, we need the money to uh, pay our monthly expenses. And we need the money to continuously buy the goods we need to plant their field. So we are chugging along. And now that we know that we can't plant with the planter right this minute, but we will be in the future. Um, we're going to check in with you guys once the sorghum field is completely sold off and I have a little bit of money in the bank. Um, and when the. Um, uh, and we'll see where we are there. And then we might have to skip a day so we can harvest the sunflower, or not sunflowers, the corn that's uh, being done. We may even consider doing a few contracts. Um, we may have to borrow equipment to do the contracts, but we may consider that. All right. Looks like our harvester is chucking along just fine. Go drop this planter off. Oh gosh. And we'll check back in with you guys when the sorghum field's full sold off. Take it easy. All right, everybody, we're back. We finished harvesting the field. We've sold off our corn, our regular header here and just attached our corn header. The corn is not ready for harvest yet. It is in forage only, so we are gonna forage it for chaff. Uh, even though silage probably would be really profitable, we have no place to make silage at the moment, so we are just going to collect the corn for the corn, and we're going to sell the corn to the mill that we have to. Um, we're looking at now, after selling our uh, header, which I should not have bought it, I should have just leased it, but whatever. We only spent a few thousand on it, so it is what it is. Um, we need to get something to work on our field. To start prepping it for the next season so as you can see here I could be planting this field in the next coming months it is already plowed and that means we could just go right into seeding it as far as I understand um, or planting it with my planter um, we are gonna ignore the rocks we turned rocks off and we turned off um, periodic plowing so that's good um, but I do need to somehow turn this over so I'm not entirely sure but I, I need to look into this right now I was like okay so I need to get a cultivator but the smallest cultivator that I can get, and the cheapest cultivator with the lowest horsepower recommendations, is requiring 80 horsepower, and my tractor cannot pull that. So I said, hmm, all right, so if that's the lowest requirement on any of these cultivators, can I do a power hour? No, I can't. Those require 100. A disc harrow, and I found a couple that do. And I'm looking at this going, oh, great for shallow cultivation of fields. Does that mean that I can immediately go into seeding it or planting it? I don't really know. Then I looked into subsoilers. I found a subsoiler. So this is basically a plow. So if a present field for next sowing, it can be used instead of a plow. It's used perfectly for grape and olive farming because it's a narrow little plow. I said, oh, that's great. Maybe I could use this guy too. So that's, I just don't know that this is going to prep our field for what we need it to. So what I'm worried about here um, and even spaders there isn't one here that I could use and I don't have cedars that are direct real that are cheap enough for me to use because actually you know what this one is but it, I don't have the the um, 
the ability to use this one because of the horsepower. Um, and this one I do have the ability to use with the horsepower, but it's just you know, the rick seating. So I thought about maybe buying this, but I'm like, you know what? We're going to do corn. We're going to do corn. It's just going to take us a long time to plant the field. It's We already got something that's cheap. We could use the money to buy other things right now. So um, we really should just get a cultivator, but a cultivator it doesn't work. So I'm looking into first, before we buy our plow... We might try the subsoiler first because a subsoiler we know will work on the field. And I'm pretty sure we could plant directly into this field with the planter. So we're just going to buy the subsoiler one way or another because we, we may want to join fields and the subsoiler will do that for us. Because um, if this field is nice and large, we could potentially combine it up with this field um, and plant this also field with, um, with corn and or... Um, uh, sunflowers so that's a possibility um, so we might just go and do that while we have the time and the ability to go get the equipment we need so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go buy this subsoiler because we it's cheap it'll work it'll do the job for us as far as I understand it is only a 1.2 meter working with but um, a small or a big attacher type I have no idea what it's gonna need but we can adjust it in either case we'll go with big leasing it doesn't even make any sense for 12 bucks 13 oh, sorry 33 bucks no we're just gonna buy it for 650 bucks we're just gonna go get it and then we are gonna come back here and see if we can begin plowing the field that we just uh, finished harvesting from because if we can get that field prepped for uh, planting uh, in the spring then we could plant two fields uh, with uh, stuff for either corn or sunflower sunflower becomes uh, ready to be planted sooner one month before uh, corn so we might do one of the fields in sunflower and one of the fields in corn um, just to have some variety uh, it would be nice to just stick with one because then we could see whatever one is the most maximum profit for us we could turn that into um, the most money but really in, in reality I don't think it really matters we're doing this for the immersion here so we, we want to definitely give it a shot um, in its pure sense by seeing what we can grow with our little planter now we've got that tiny tiny little planter so I don't even know how far that um, planter will go with planting seeds so we may have to fill that thing up a bunch to plant our fields but we will get it done with that planter um, because I don't think we had a planter that we could oh yeah we did have a better planter but we couldn't afford it at the time because this one can hold 240 liters this only holds 100 this one holds 600 but you know more expensive but right now we're going to get by with our little mini planter we also need to buy a fertilizer spreader um which we found one here really cheap and here's a lime spreader in case we need that um where's my other lime spreader i thought i got another one here well maybe it's under lime spreaders I don't know, should be under there, but that's alright. We'll, we, we would use use this because it's cheaper. Um, ah, we hit a tree or a pole. You know, I know what trees look like. Anyways, so we definitely want to consider getting a fertilizer um, spreader here um, after we uh, plant the fields because we definitely want to prep them for as much a harvest as possible. I mean, if we had to go without fertilizer, we could. We would lose you know somewhere between what, 10 and 25 percent harvest of yield and that that matters when you get a few thousand like we just probably harvested what 14 or so thousands so if i had 25 percent more onto that field that would be nice um you know so we, we definitely want to make sure we do that and we do need to make sure we lime it um lime in the world of farming as far as i understand is more important than even fertilizer because lime is whether or not your plant even grows fertilizers what it increases its yield apparently here in this game so I definitely would expect that something is definitely gonna be affected by the lime and the fertilizer so we're gonna get that lime down if we can now that we don't so I, I purposely bought this uh, subsoil so I would not have to um, buy another tractor because we cannot afford a tractor with a hundred horsepower right now the closest one is thirty nine thousand dollars and we just couldn't do that. So we are just trying to get this tiny little subsoiler. And I mean tiny. Whew. 
I hope this thing can even do the job. Look at that subsoil. It is freaking tiny. And it, it is. It is a joke. I, I even hope that this can. <laughs> I hope that it can do the job. I mean, honestly, if it takes forever to do it, we will set it up and we will walk away and come back. Because that is small. We're talking so, so small that it would take us forever to do that. Now, could we have bought a different subsoil? I don't even... No, we couldn't even have bought a different subsoil. We could have bought a different disc caro. But even then, that one's the small one. That's only a one meter disc caro. So yeah, we bought the really small uh, tractor ability. So that is what we're going to do. We just have to do it. Because there is no options for us this early on with this week of a tractor and it just means using our days up in the maximum sense to prep them prepping fields man it's it would be really wonderful if we can get a direct drill seeder but we just can't right now with this tractor why am i losing 128 dollars of wages i guess that's because it was in the last hour i did use the the hired worker but, so, we'll, let's go check this out, see how this turns out for us, get this field plowed, um, wait till the next day, plant the next, um, the harvest, the, 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 um, the corn, store it away, sell it off if we need you to buy other equipment, because we do want to buy a fertilizer spreader, buy fertilizer, things like that, so... We'll probably check in with you. Uh, I'll show you. See, first we're gonna see how long we think this is gonna take to even begin plowing. Like how far it's gonna go to plow this field. We're gonna just start um, because then obviously we're gonna need to plow the other field, the cornfield too, once that's done harvesting. But we'll check in with you guys. Um, what we'll do is we'll start this and then we'll see how long what we think is gonna take to finish this field, and then we'll probably resume. Um, when we return from finishing the plowing of the field and um, harvesting the next field, because after we har after we plow this field, there's nothing else we could do other than maybe contracts, which I don't want to do contracts in this area. I really just rather play through this as an individual farmer trying to make his own through the world here. So let's try to stick it to myself only here. All right, here's our field coming up. Field 55. All right. Tiny little plow on a big field. Let's see what it takes. It is doing it, but very slowly. Ah, but we can do it relatively quickly, I think. Nah, we can only do it in the second stage. Whatever. We're gonna let this uh, tractor do its thing. <laughs> it's gonna take forever. Man, I would like to turn this field into a grass field just because it's a nice large field. We could get the field plowed. Uh, if we wouldn't have to plow it up every season, it would be a quick finish. Do it and get it over with, kind of thing. Wow, I was barely even plowing you in this section. Um, but it had to be done because the field is not exactly. Uh, look at that. It's. I hate when the things like clearly you should be plowing this section right here, but it's not. It just isn't. Whatever. You're gonna do the job. It's gonna take forever to do the job. We're going to waste so much money. Let's see how well you do. Oh. It is doing it. It's almost comical how small this plow is. See, that? look at that. Now it seems to be doing a pretty wide swath. It doesn't seem to make much sense, the width of the situation, but it is doing the job. 
we will let that do its job. We will finish this up. We will check back in with you in the next episode when this field has been plowed and this field has been um, close to being harvested. Because then that next day, because we're going to be looking at... Where are we? We're going to be in October. We will be harvesting our corn. Yeah, we'll be harvesting our corn and can't be doing anything else really. So we'll check in with you when we harvest the corn and sell off all of the corn and or probably sell off the corn and sell off the, because what, what are the prices for corn? So we have 10,000 liters of sorghum that we know that isn't going to be best sold until January. And right now we're in September, so we have some time. It's going to be going up and then corn is going to also be up in january so we're going to hang on to this stuff we'll probably check in with you guys um once the fields have been this field's been plowed this field has been harvest and when we're doing our sell-off of all this product we'll check in with you when we're finishing up this field give you the rundown of what's going on um and then probably step out for a moment come back see where you got what we make off of these uh, corn and the sorghum in the middle of january and then when uh, February comes around we won't be doing anything and we'll just reload back in when it's uh, April so that we can start or March when we so we can start planting sunflowers so yeah this is gonna be a while a very long while hopefully we don't lose too much money to doing this I really do because this 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 pass is not even like working we, we might actually have to do this we're going to stop you. We're going to use course play. The reason why we're going to use course play is because it seems to be doing this field really inefficiently, and I'm hoping that it does it better. Where is my field? Hopefully it does it better. Um, if doing this right... open and close let's do it doesn't need to do headlands because it's not an awkward field I feel like you could just do the up down so I got a four foot width um, yeah rows per land there's the skip we don't need to skip any rows we just want to see if it does it better <laughs> oh my god look at the paths on that it's so tight. Save course. First, I need to open this up. Move this here. Create new folder. We'll call this um, small. Wow. Big field. Hit OK. Save course. Activate. name of the course is going to be so many rows Okay, it doesn't seem to be doing anything, but it seems to be doing it way worse. <laughs> At least in the sense comparison to what we started, but, you know, honestly, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just going to let it do it.
and we'll check back in. I have errands to run anyways today. So we're going to do this and we'll check back in when it's finished and hopefully done within not so much the time frame. Hopefully I don't lose $21,000 worth of um, a hired worker. I don't have time to sit here and watch this thing plow all day. Just don't. So we'll see you later. Thanks for everybody for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. This is your boy Chuck Thunder. Please be nice to me and help me out. Appreciate it.